Hello, my friends, and welcome once again to Oregon Corner. I'm your host, the Organite Goddess. Gratitude for spending time with us, and namaste. All of our how-to videos document the journey of an idea, a thought, or an intention into a beautiful manifestation that reminds us how powerful we truly are. Once you begin to work with the elemental energies involved in Organite, your life will change in the most amazing ways. Synchronicities and serendipities will follow you everywhere. Today's journey is about abundance. The following video, always edited for time, highlights each step of our pyramid's development. The music you are hearing carries the 888 hertz frequency, which many high vibrational individuals use during meditations with the abundance intention. The organic and inorganic materials for this project are placed before you. We recommend cleansing your space and materials with a smudge of sage or palo santo. You will notice bees, two are gold-plated and bejeweled, one plastic bee and bee charms, as well as honeycomb bees wax. We also have gold-plated nuggets and foil, citrine, green aventurine, black-coated steel hexagonal screen, and black-coated steel wire. And last but not least, your sunlight-charged crystal. For the first layer, we are using a light, honey-colored dye. The top of the pyramid is the most important part in terms of technique and focusing the particular intention. Citrine honey-colored stones harness the frequency of the color of gold and honey and are part of the organic component of organite energy. Working with the quartz, these stones, also called merchant stones, will boost our abundance intention. They say if you place citrine in the area where you deal with your finances, you will boost your wealth. Citrine is also very useful for solar plexus work to gain the confidence and the inspiration you need to manifest more powerfully. The next layer is gold plating followed by gold nuggets. Placing foil under the resin is tricky because the material has electrostatic charge and sticks to everything, but it does have a beautiful effect. You will see when our pyramid is demolded how it's elevated to the citrine and supports the apex. Gold is considered a precious metal and is part of the inorganic component of organite energy. Using gold for the intention of abundance makes perfect sense, but did you know there's so much more that gold can do for you spiritually? Gold is said to unlock and activate your third eye. Yep, no more apple cider vinegar. Gold will amplify happy and positive feelings and stabilize a stressful situation. It is also known as the master healer and signifies strength and confidence. Some say it helps with nightmares. The next layer is colored green with a hint of blue, signifying the sky of the pyramid scene. Green symbolizes wealth. It is the color of the heart chakra and reminds us of our connection to nature, to the elements, and to the minerals. The color green grounds us to earth energy and opens our hearts to new possibilities. I'm placing this piece of honeycomb beeswax here as an organic component of the organite energy. Its hexagonal structure shows us that sacred geometry is everywhere in nature. The honeycomb is also the most efficient and strongest structure in nature. If we ourselves flow with nature in the frequency of abundance, we too will have everything we need whenever we need it. The gold-plated steel ring was not planned, but sometimes this just happens. It felt like the inorganic layer should be next, and it helps me stabilize the crystal for suspension in the next layer. This next part illustrates the suspension of the quartz crystal. Basically, two popsicle sticks glued together, which gives you a suspension bridge from which I usually use a bit of scrap wire to suspend the crystal. Never throw any of your metal away. A large, cut, clear quartz crystal is the heart of our organite pyramid. Cleared and charged in sunlight and allowed to resonate with the 888 hertz frequency, the quartz is wrapped in black-coated steel wire, creating an electromagnetic center of our pyramid that is fully charged with abundance. Once compressed in the cured resin, the pyramid will have a toroidal electromagnetic field surrounding it. Some people feel a slight tingling in their receptive hand, on the back of their neck, or on the top of their head when handling these objects. 
When used for meditation, it can be a valuable tool for enhancing and speeding up your intentions. Once the crystal's suspended, I'll be filling the pyramid with clear resin, placing our bees in a staggered fashion. Once the resin around the crystal is cured enough to keep it in place, the suspension apparatus is removed. Now bees are special insects. They pollinate flowers, make nourishing and healing honey, create their homes using sacred geometry. The buzzing noise in their wings generate remind us how important electromagnetic vibrations are. Some bees defy physics when taking flight as their bodies are thought to be too large to be able to attain flight. They communicate by vibrating instructions to the hive on where to find the best nectar. They remind us of the spring and the blooming flowers. In symbology, bees are thought to attract prosperity and good luck. The support layer for our crystal beehive is color green. Once this layer is slightly cured, I add the green aventurine. As I was placing the aventurine in real time, I repeated the following mantras. You are a wealth magnet. You are lucky. You are a wealth magnet. You are lucky. Green aventurine is also known as the gambler stone, said to be the luckiest stone of all. Now don't forget luck is a mindset, and this green stone will help you into that mindset. Also linked to the heart chakra, aventurine can calm negative emotions. Positive energy will open up your energy field to new opportunities for wealth and abundance. The last five layers that follow are alternating black with yellow twice and then a honey-colored layer with the black-coated steel honeycomb screen, steel wire, a trinket bee, and gold-plated nuggets. So I'll tell you about these colors and the scene at the base of the pyramid. Yellow, along with gold and green, is a frequency of color that can stimulate our consciousness to flow with unlimited abundance. Yellow reminds us of the sun's abundant rays of light that have been streaming through the universe for billions of years and will continue to do so for billions more. Yellow is also, of course, the color of the honeybee, which works perfectly with the theme of abundance in our pyramid. Quite by accident, when researching the symbolism of the color yellow, it was recommended to use black as a contrasting color, and serendipitously, this is also the color in our honeybee. Now, black is very interesting. Most associate black with night, with the unseen and the unknown, or with doom and gloom. Black, in reality, is simply the absence of light, the moment a spark of light occurs, black can no longer exist, and we can see the unseen. The contrast reminds us, in the blackness of the void, where we dream, we have the ability to cast off lack and remove blockages to the flow of abundance. For the base of the pyramid, I place the honeycomb screen cut into a hexagon shape with steel wire to frame it. When placed on the last yellow layer, before it is completely hardened, the surface tension creates a cool effect of the yellow resin oozing through the holes on the screen like honey. I add a trinket bee holding a gold nugget and sprinkle a bit more for effect. Then pour the honey-colored resin to finish it off. I let the pyramid sit an additional 12 to 24 hours in the mold and then... My favorite part of every project is the demolding. It's almost like instant manifestation. I can never tell what it will look like until it's finished. But I'm almost always elated, and when I'm not, I learn more about the craft. I'll leave you with one last thought. Every intention is magnified by boosting it with gratitude. You can further boost it with love. So thank you. I love you. I see you and your family abundant and wanting for nothing as long as you walk the earth. And so it is. Namaste.